couple of easy things actually, you just put it on your calendar first. So when I joined Rotary, I blocked out Monday lunch meetings and other things as the first priority and uh, would only change them if absolutely necessary. So uh, that was one thing to keep me engaged in Rotary. The other thing is you just make time. When you think about the things that you do outside of work, they're about having fun, about being with friends, about doing something that makes you feel good. Rotary gives you all those opportunities. So it's not really about trying to find time. It's really about uh, how do you not say yes to some of these things because they're just fun and they make you feel good. Absolutely. Sometimes we shy away from talking about Rotary giving you networks because it seems like, well, come in here and improve your business by joining Rotary. And that's not really what it's about. Rotary is about coming together as friends to do good in the world. And once you have people as friends, you start to understand what they do, then of course the other things come afterwards and you, your businesses improve with the contacts. The first time I went to a district conference, uh, we had a presentation from a woman connected to some story called Children of the Dump. In Nicaragua, there were children and families who depended upon scrounging through the dump wastes in order to get food and other things that, that they needed from life. Rotarians around the world and from our district decided to do something about that. And so when I went to this conference, the person I was speaking, uh, that was speaking, she was telling the story of how she was one of the children of the dump and because of Rotary's help, got out of there, was educated, and she is now working in New York City. So from a child of the dump to a professional working in uh, New York City, I go, wow, Rotary is really something to, to help this happen. Mm -hmm.